All right. This is my first attempt at a dry cell hydrogen generator. And what I have here are nine plates. These are electrical gain covers. Um, they're not stainless. I can't afford stainless right now. And I want to make sure the concept works. But uh, I'll probably go to stainless, probably go to more plates. In this particular dry cell, I've got two piles. one here, one on the very end. The center is a uh, negative, and then in between each positive and negative, I've got three neutrals. And for my research and understanding, what that does is splits up the voltage from, say, 12 volts to however many spaces you have in between your your plates. So in this case I've got eight spaces. So I've got a little less than a um, actually a little more than a volt per space and that keeps the cell cooler, keeps the water cooler. Now I've got two holes drilled all the way through except for the back plate. Um, the top hole is to release the gas. The bottom hole is uh, has two functions. One, it's how I fill it, and two, it allows the water to flow back and forth and uh, kind of circulate. And then, just like the old hydrogen cell, this tube comes up, over, down, and then to the uh, flash suppressor. I've used nylon bolts to hold this thing together, and I don't know if you can see them, but in between are uh, O-rings. Now, I'm not using O-rings, I'm using flat seals called D-rings but uh, this is supposed to be more efficient so I've got three uh, I used to call them nodes and, and six neutral plates and at some point what I'll probably do is this bottom that I used to fill I'll uh, have that permanently piped into a, a water supply right now I use a uh, jig with a a test tube and two tubes attached to it and I'll fill the test tube and then basically blow into one and push the water in. What I should have done was use a clear piece of plexi on my last piece, plexiglass, and that way I could have seen how uh, how far I'm filling it up. Right now I just kind of fill it up to the top and then take some out. But let's see if this thing works. If you guys can hear that, but it's humming. There we go. It's working. It's actually producing a little bit better than the other one. With a lot less, a lot less water. I mean a fraction of the water. It's producing the uh, same amount of bubbles as my big jar. Now what I would like to do is extend this cell out maybe to 20 maybe 20 uh, plates let's cut on 15 amp and see how many bubbles it produces there you go, look at that let's test it Awesome, it works.